Happy Sunday, everyone. We are in the first, or we finished the first full week of June. Our garden is looking amazing, so I wanted to come out here and just kind of show you guys what we're growing and um, just kind of how everything looks. And then I'll do another update maybe in a month or a few weeks and show you guys kind of just how things keep progressing. Okay, so this is how it looks today. Start over here in this pot which has kind of become almost like a catch-all pot um, of all of our miscellaneous plants um so we have some sage here borage which is a medicinal herb that we're growing this year cilantro uh swiss chard this is q lavender so this is actually really cool it's different than a traditional lavender it actually gets more of a red pink blossom on the top as you can see so we have that one there, and then we also have another um, bigger plant of that same variety here. Let's see, uh, this is something totally new. This is a quinoa plant, um, so we have never grown that before. I've never even seen a starter for it. Um, so we're going to see, back here is one of my favorite varieties of lettuce. This is the Palo Rosa. You can see the outer leaves are a darker purple, and then as the new life comes in, it is green with those beautiful purple veins in them. Mint, and then our oregano plant is here. This is a Winston Churchill fuchsia. It attracts hummingbirds and other really great pollinators. And then let's see, some chamomile um, that we've already been harvesting and enjoying. Um, and actually this lavender is just more of a traditional version. Uh, it has those really fragrant leaves, uh, some rosemary, uh, and then some nasturtium. Over here, a couple more sage varieties. This is the tricolor, so it's going to be green, white, and then as it comes out, that purple color, and then the stems as well also have that same purple. This is our golden sage. Very pretty as well. The bay tree, um, where bay leaves come from. Onions, lemongrass. I think this is bee balm back here. Um, on the sage, uh, this year we're going to try and make some smudge sticks, which is why we have some different varieties of sage that we will uh, dry. We have one more that I haven't planted yet, um, but this is a purple variety, which is super pretty as well. Okay, let's see. Let's go down here. We have our lavender tree, which we have already been harvesting from as well, and then just some leeks down there. See, these are all, or most I should say, of our kale plants. Um, the scarlet kale here. I think this is Siberian kale. Um, Lacinato. More cilantro down here. St. John's wort. Some basil tucked in there. Maybe a small tomato plant in here as well. Uh, let's see, I think there's Swiss chard being buried under there. Um, one thing we are, you know, in the first week of June here and we have flowers on, I would say every single tomato plant. If I see one without, I'll call it out. But I think at this point we do have flowers on all of our tomatoes. So this is the Valencia orange. I have some parsley back here. What else do we have? This is a yellow bell pepper back there. Fennel. The large leaf basil. Let's see, I think this is the pimento pepper which is starting to grow actually. We have some flowers on it as well. And then carrots are prized fennel plant um, for John's Nona. More basil back there. We just kind of sprinkled basil everywhere. Um, another tomato plant, which one is this? I think this is Fred's tie-dye. Back here, we have a sun sugar, which will be um, like oranges, yellow, small little uh, grape tomatoes shallots that um red q lavender is there a small health kick tomato some snap peas marigold Let's see we'll go up here <clears throat> this is something new for us this is salad burnet it's a type of green um just to kind of put in a salad add a little bit of a different texture more of that palo rosa which i just love some little tiny lettuce plants. This is something new for us this year as well. This is a eucalyptus plant. Um, so we've never grown this before, but we're hoping that it gets big. Um, these are gonna be red onions back here. Chive, amaranth, this is the red callaloo, which we love this in salads. It adds a nice color. And then moving over to this big pot, some red leaf back there. 
we did stick tons of marigolds this year just because we had um, a heavier than normal amount of aphids on our plants and marigolds do help keep them away. Um, this is a little bok choy. I think this is going to be a yellow pear. And let's see, this is going to be a black trifle. More onions just kind of everywhere. Let's see, this is an indigo blue beauty. This is going to be, I think, one of my favorites this year. We have this big plant here, and then we also have one over here as well that's flowering really well. It's huge. We had to stake it already. Um, Ring of Fire Pepper. I think back here is a hot chili. Uh, sugar Snap Peas back here that have kind of latched on to our tomato plant. I think that's everything. Here's some purple basil maybe back under there somewhere. Yeah. More purple basil here. And then just a little bit of lettuce. And then down here, um, Amish rose tomato. I don't, actually don't think we have flowers on this one. Um, it is in a little bit more of a shady area, so I would expect that it moves along a little bit slower than the others. Onion, a little bit of parsley, uh, marigolds, some lettuces back there, more lettuce. Lots more lettuce growing this year. This is Persian purple. Comes out purple and then turns to that green but maintains those um, purple veins. Super pretty purple on the back as well. Uh, fennel, um, this is a different variety. I'll show you, we have some more over here, but this is actually uh, bronze fennel. You see, um, the color is different than a traditional fennel. Never seen um, bronze fennel before, so I'm excited to grow that and taste it. Virginia sweet tomato, uh, Italian sweet pepper, Romanian chocolate. Okay, we have a couple different chocolate varieties. Um, pepperoncini right there. Um, some basil in the back. And then a, another Japanese black trifle. Let's see. And then in this pot, this is like my favorite basil. This is Thai basil. It's super spicy, so full of flavor. Um, Valley heart lettuce, which is like a really great romaine. More of that bronze fennel. It's an indigo cherry, so again, small cherry tomatoes, um, purple color. We're growing a lot of those cherry tomatoes this year just because they um, work really well in containers. Mustard greens back here, uh, sorrel, which is my favorite, more lettuce, and then a Mr. Stripey tomato. Again, marigolds just kind of everywhere here. And then into this pot, morage, which is actually about to flower. Amaranth, this is a Jamaican callaloo, and it looks like we are sharing it with a friend who's been munching on it as well. Um, I don't blame them, it is super good. Italian iced tomato, I'm very excited for this. It's gonna be like this yellowy, like almost translucent color. I have several sets of flowers on it. Golden nugget, I'm some tarragon back here. Here's another herb. Let's see. And then over here, another, um, I showed this one. This is the Indigo Blue Beauty. Huge flowers on this. I think these are gonna be some really nice big tomatoes. Jubilee tomato, and then golden peach back here. Uh, Pesto Perpetuo Basil. Um, it's a variegated variety with the white and the green. Some mint, some frisee. Lovage is back there. Um, lettuce, this is another yellow grape. Early girl, which is not the earliest tomato we've had by far, so it didn't really live up to its name there. Uh, sport pepper back there, Fred's tie dye here, and then a chocolate cherry back there. Our hillbilly potato leaf, nice big one. And then up here, wasabi arugula, new variety of arugula for us this year. More lettuce, um, red striped mizuna. Rosalina tomato, probably gonna need to move her somewhere else. Um, kind of a small pot for her. More chamomile, and then these are cucamelons. This one that's growing up this rod here, and then this bigger plant here. So we have some stake for them to grow up, um, and then this one is starting to actually reach um, towards this rod. Some mescaline mix, and then some purple leaf lettuce. Okay. Some flowering chives and leeks. And then we have our wild magic basil, black velvet nasturtium. This one actually is giving a little flower on it. 
Let's see. This is lemon basil and then another um, just traditional basil. So regular romaine, peppermint shard, you can see beautiful stem. This is a speckled lettuce, red frisee, plain old green leaf. Um, I know this is ruby sky and this is just red leaf. Just various pretty lettuces. And the path that sits kind of by us. Look, uh, really pretty lettuce in here. Some purple basil. This is ginger mint. We have another tomato. This is a jelly bean. Um, so again, small, bright colored. And then on this side we have, let's see if I can get down here, a black beauty eggplant. Starting in the flower as well. And then we end with our lemon thyme here. And there it is. So I hope this inspired you to grow in any space that you have. You can see that, you know, they're all containers. So growing huge tomatoes and herbs and veggies and lots of good stuff. Happy gardening.